हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू स्किल्स विल ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माई सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम ए हाईली पेड आई टी प्रो रियली फैस्ट सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टू डेज वीडियो इज सेवन बेस्ट पाइथॉन आई डी ईज एंड टेक्सट एडिटर्स सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so many python ides which one to choose watch till the end to find out python is known as the data science language because all the modern technologies and concepts like machine learning deep learning image processing artificial intelligence etc are covered by this beautiful and powerful language we have all the significant project of these technologies developed in python and not only that Many security solutions nowadays are based and developed in Python as well. To build a Python based project, we need an IDE for coding. So let's see what seven IDEs you can consider for Python. Number 1, IDLE. IDLE is the simplest out there and you do not even have to download and install it separately. Install the Python in your operating system. and ideally comes with it ideally is working in my system because i have installed python in my windows i'll show you that how it works so i'll just search for ideally in my system here it is i will just open it so this is the ideally and from the files i'll go to new file here i can start programming let's say i declare a variable and i give it the value of 5 and for the second variable i give the value of 10 now i will print the addition of these two variable so i'll just write here a plus b and now in order to run this program we have to save this file first so i will just press control s and it will ask you to go to a particular directory where we want to save this particular file so here i will save it on to my desktop and i will name it as addition and i will just save it and now if i run this program or run this file and here we have 15 as an output one thing is very important here and that is in case if you need to install a library to call into your projects you have to install those libraries into your system through the cmd for example let's say you want to install tensorflow which is an environment for deep learning well to use that one into your ideally you have to install it and create its environment into your system through cmd and only after that you will be able to call it into your ideally and use it so just install the python in your system and start using the ideally number 2 atom this ide is another compelling and great one you can download it from the official website of the atom and can start using it in fact in most of the linux distributions this ide comes as default or pre installed it's a very lightweight ide and has a very excellent user interface before using the atom you have to install the python into your system and same goes for the libraries and different environments of python from here you can open an already created project or you can create a new one from here as well and as you can see that how much it has to offer in here and in here it says version control with git and github it means you can directly involve the github with your atom in here just click on add folders and it will ask you to go to a particular directory where you want to create a folder for your atom projects i'll go to my desktop and i'll create a new folder in here and after that we are good to go so here it is i will name it as atom i will select this folder and now we are good to go so in here we can create different new files we can start working on our python projects and we can do anything other than that we have many other options like we can configure our atom we can have different settings related to our python we can have different snippets of our code and then into our edit section we have different other option The most important and the one in which I'm most interested is the packages. Here you can see we have GitHub as I have mentioned earlier. 
we have different other package generators we have snippets spell checks symbols time cop and many other thing so that shows that atom is very powerful tool for python projects number 3 pycharm if i say that this ide is the most used ide for python on local machines then it would not be wrong the majority of python developers prefer this ide to use on the local level because of its simplicity the power it offers to the python developers is another reason that people love this ide you can create any environment in it related to any library of python even if you have the gpu in your system you can create the environment based on that gpu in it for example tensorflow because tensorflow gets used for deep learning projects and in that sometime you need gpu for the processing as well in that case you have to create different environments based on your gpu and pycharm allows you to do so this is how it looks like this is the repository where you will have different projects and from here you can create new projects you can open any one of them and you have whole setting section if i just click on it here you can see we have many things that we can perform into our pycharm for example here i have my plugins if i just click on it here all those plugins will be available that i can install and i can have into my projects as we have idea vim we have csv we have idea log and we have many other things that we can install and we can use other than that we can also go for our github from our pycharm and here we have the languages and frameworks i will just go to that section and after i'll go to my markdown so here we can have different extensions and different frameworks for our python projects in our pycharm so that shows that how powerful this pycharm tool is so download it and start using it for your python projects and especially for heavier projects like machine learning deep learning artificial intelligence and let's move on to the next one number 4 vs code this ide got released in 2015 but the latest version came with many improvement and features this ide supports and offers you to do programming in many languages like python java php c c++ and many more the good thing about this ide is that while writing a code it keeps informing you about the things that you might need in your environment and it also informs about potential risk and problems that can be there in your environment while working and that is really helpful from this ide here we have different section and the last section says extensions so here i have just written python and we have all the extensions related to python available in here so we can just install them and we can start working with our python projects in our visual studio code and as we know the tensorflow is the library and it is an environment for deep learning in python let's see if we have that one in it so i will just write here tensor and here we have tensorflow available as well so install these extension and start working on your programs i'll go to my explorer section in here i will right click on it and i will click on new file i will just name it as index.py visual studio code is smart enough to know that extension is py so it will automatically take this file as a python file and as it has shown a message that says go beyond syntax highlighting for python by installing the recommended extensions so as i have just mentioned earlier that it gives the information while we program that what we might need in our visual studio code in order to get the best out of our programs and to have best experience on this ide so download this one and enjoy using it and start working on your different python projects number 5 jupiter notebook this ide is one of the most used ide for python and if i say that this ide is created for the python developers then it would not be wrong to download and install this one we have two options either we can download the anaconda tool and this ide comes with it and we also have many other ides as you can see on your screen i have opened my anaconda navigator and in that here i have my jupiter notebook either you can download anaconda 
or you can solely download the Jupyter Notebook. It's all up to you. In both ways, the working on this IDE is the same. So I will just launch this one and it will get opened into a browser. This Jupyter Notebook works on localhost 8888. So here I have different directories from where I can open my Python projects. In case if you want to create a new one, you just need to click on this new or you can also upload a project from your machine. I'll just click on Python 3 and a new notebook will get open for us. So here it is. We can start working on it and from here we can rename it and we can name it anything. If you get out of this, you can start working in here. So I will just write here import pandas as pd. I will just press shift enter and this will get run. So download Jupyter Notebook or Anaconda tool and start using this powerful IDE for your programming. One thing needs to be very clear here and that is people who use Jupyter Notebook, they use it for very highly sophisticated projects. For example, they will be working on something related to image processing, machine learning, artificial intelligence. For local projects, like you want to create a local application or you want to have some framework, for those kind of projects, people tend to use PyCharm, Visual Studio Code, Atom, etc. But still, you have the option to use Jupyter Notebook and it's all up to you that how you want to go with a particular IDE. Number 6. Spider. Spider is another IDE that gets used a lot for high-end Python projects. For example, for projects like machine learning, deep learning, artificial intelligence, etc. Jupyter Notebook and Spider gets used a lot. Just like the Jupyter Notebook, you can download it separately or download the Anaconda and Spider comes with it. So I will just click on this launch button and our Anaconda will launch the Spider into our system. So here it is. We have successfully opened our Spider. I will just click on OK. And from here, we can have different projects, different resources, different extension into this IDE. And again, this is a really powerful IDE. And before using it, make sure you have installed the Python and those libraries that you want to use in your projects. And in case if you want to have some environments, make sure you have created those environments from the CMD using pip or different other Python commands. And with that, let's move on to the last IDE for this video. Number seven, Google Colab. In my opinion, this is one of the most powerful IDE you can find for the high end and exceedingly sophisticated Python projects out there. It is from the Google as the name says. You do not even have to install Python or anything else into your system. You just need a web browser and you are good to go. Currently, I am working on one of the projects based on machine and deep learning and I am implementing the project in Python. So for that project, I am using the Google Colab. I have used the PyCharm and Jupyter Notebook as well, but Google Colab is the most powerful of them all. So I will just open my Google Collaboratory. So here I have different files that I am working on. Let's open this one, which is PCA and SVM. These algorithm gets used for machine and deep learning. So here you can see we have different sections in which we have different codes. Here I have different libraries. Then we have our data set. We have the output of our data set. And the good thing is you can have different section. For example, if I click on code, it will open a new section. And in that section, I can start coding. And in case if you want to have some comments about that particular section, you can go for text and you can start writing anything in it and you will have everything in code. On the left side, we have different options. And if you go with the last one, it will allow you to upload your data set that you can access directly from here. And these are different libraries and I have installed none of them in my system. All these are working at runtime. And the good news is your these file get saved into your Google Drive. You do not have to worry about anything you just need to create new one and you can start working on it and you just need to save it. Everything else will get saved into your Google Drive. So go to your file section, open a new notebook or create a new one or you can also upload a notebook from your local machine. So that shows that how powerful this Google Colab is. And most of the time people go for it because it also allows you 
to download your notebook onto your local machine and as we have this option you can have two extension for that if you go with download.py you can open this file into your pycharm into your atom into your visual studio code as well so that was all about the seven ides that you can consider for your python programming i hope you must have liked this video please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon we will see you in the next video